so guys on today's video i'm actually going to show you how to come up with a good calculation that's actually going to give you a very good spacing or a very good size or pen or structure in which your beds can have a very good accommodation to move around freely so you don't make mistake on coming up so you won't overcrowd your beds or jam pack your beds in a small space or you might be confused you don't know the exact spacing you don't know the structure you don't know the exact scoop you don't know the building plan for your beds both broilers or layers okay on this video i'm actually going to show you how to come up with a very good plan the structure plan you can actually do it by yourself you have to worry no more okay so without wasting much of our time let's get into this so take note that this only apply to farmers that is in depleter system you know when it's depleter depleter system means when your beds are on the floor they are not in the battery cages okay so when you are planning to keep your beds on the floor with wood shavings this actually will help you very well to get a very good calculation okay so let's get started okay so you know there's always a fixed number or a fixed ratio per square meter for beds okay broilers stay a short time on the farm compared to layers so this the IEE standard calculation for beds broiler beds is 1.6 meter or 1.6 square meters from one broiler to another okay so this is actually the standard meters that requires a particular bed broiler bed from the order okay so this is the maximum amount of space when your bed is staying for about a week to four eight weeks on the farm depending on how long you want it to be okay so it's actually 1.6 you have to take it down in order not to forget it okay why in layers is actually 1.8 because these beds are staying for a very long time on the farm for about one to two years in the farm so they actually stay longer they need a bit spacing compare to broiler beds okay so right now let's just come up with a random calculation when you're about to make a calculation you don't have any calculation you might have a calculation in mind or first of all you just have to come up with the beds you want to keep for instance let's say you want to just keep um let me say 200 beds we're just doing this in randomly or 200 or 250 beds so you know we just have to see 20 by feet times okay sorry 20 in length times 20 in breadth like the length of the pen is actually going to be 20 then the width of the pen is actually going to be 20 okay so you say 20 feet times 20 feet or you can say 20 in length by 20 in breadth is actually going to give us 400 400 altogether this is 400 square meters okay so now we have to divide 400 square meter divided by broiler don't forget the, the specific ratio is 1.6 for broilers so you can see it comes up with 250 beds so when you are going into a good construction you tell the the construction manager that is in charge that you want a pen of about 20 feet in length and 20 in breadth okay so you can see it gives us 250 beds that can actually move around freely without any obstruction these beds can stay for as long as they want because it's broilers you know there's a specific time just from a week to about eight weeks nine weeks depending on how the farmers want them to be okay so right now let's go to layers so we have to say again 20 times 20 let's see how how many beds this this will actually give us okay that's actually still give us 400 you have to divide it by 1.8 okay you can now see that it gives us 222 beds this is the maximum spacing ratio that you're supposed to keep for layer beds because they're actually going to stay for a very long time okay so you can just do this randomly to get you can just come up with a specific, a specific amount of number 
or belts you want to keep, you jot it down, then you pick up your calculator, then do this yourself. Okay, for instance, mine, I keep about 550 beds, just like that, 500 beds plus. So my structure currently is about, you know, um, 50, okay, let's say 20 in width times 50 in length okay that gives us 1000 okay so next you divide it by 1.8 you can actually see it's very very correct it gives us 555 beds on deep data system you can see how wonderful this calculation is for you to know the exact spacing you have to keep for your beds okay so this is actually it you have to know this pick up your pen and your book jot it down and come up with a specific number so you can actually get the number you want so if a brother farmer you do the calculation 20 times 50 then you put it divided by 1.6 you can actually see how many beds it gives you because yours is actually staying a very long time a very short period of time on the farm it actually give you 625 beds to make everything good you can just make it 620 beds you understand okay so that is it i hope with this video you have learned so much about this good calculation okay if there's any question or any clarification you need to know please do also drop it in the comment section i'm open to answer you thank you and do have a wonderful day.